The city of Kyle is in the process of buying and building a home for the city manager and his family that will cost more than a half million dollars. Tomorrow morning, the city will hold a special meeting to finalize that deal. KXAN's Lauren Landman spoke with a member of the city council who says the purchase could actually turn a profit for the city of Kyle. Financially speaking, it's it's kind of a no-brainer. For Kyle City Council member Travis Mitchell, the decision to purchase a $550,000 home for city manager Scott Sellers was one of the easiest he's made on the council. It's a good investment for the city of Kyle. With that price tag, it's easy to understand why some are questioning the city's decision. The home will be built in Kyle's Cypress Forest subdivision. The developer's website shows the most expensive homes available are just under $400,000. Without a doubt, this is one of the most expensive homes being built in the neighborhood. But that alone is what the city says will help them make a profit. Everything about this deal is, uh, is, is weighted to the city's interest. He is not getting a free home. He is paying for it, and the city is reaping the rewards. After signing an eight-year contract, sellers agreed to take a $28,000 pay cut. The city says that money will cover the annual mortgage. By reducing his salary to pay for this house, we're going to be saving on payroll taxes. We're going to be saving on... Uh, the percentage of uh, the raise that he gets. If Sellers leaves or retires, the next city manager will be welcomed into the home, giving new applicants an incentive to choose Kyle over surrounding cities. And if the next city manager doesn't want to live in the home, the city will try to sell the home for a profit. Lauren Landman, KXAN News. Whoever lives in that home will still be responsible for paying all the utility bills. The city says Sellers is expected to move into the new home by the end of next year. City of Kyle has a population now of just over 28,000 people, and we wanted to know how some other area city managers' perks stacked up against the job in Kyle. City of Temple between Austin and Waco just doubles Kyle's population with about 45,000 people. Their city manager makes $215,000 a year. His contract does not include a stipend for housing or living expenses. In San Marcos, so little bigger city there with a population of 54,000 right now. The city manager in San Marcos receiving a car and a phone allowance along with health, life, and dental insurance. Well, city leaders are still looking for someone to take over the city manager role in Austin. And tonight at 9 and after Thursday Night Football, KXAN's Kevin Schwaller will have an update on the search.